Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. We are going to do your next 30 days. So this is one of my favorite types of readings. This is a different format. Uh, I have used 19 of my decks and I've already pre-shuffled them for each sign and we're going to go through them one by one. So let me know. I really enjoy this type of readings as it just gives me all the information and we can get right through it. Okay, so see you in the reading. Hey Aries, so let's take a look into your next 30 days. <clears throat> Starting off with mental repetition. All right, the word wants to be written. Okay, so some of you have been thinking about communication. Okay, you have something on your heart, on your chest that you really want to speak up about. Um, it could be that this Mercury retrograde that we are in right now is t definitely uh, making you really reflect back on what you should have said, what you could have done better, how you should have communicated in a better way to someone significant. And I feel like you're going over that like over and over and over again and you want to pick out the right words. You want to come off very sincere. But in this Mercury retrograde, you might be still wanting to hold back a little bit because you don't want to uh, miscommunicate whatever you, you have to say or whatever it is that you are uh, considering, okay? So let's see how that is going to pan out. See, the devil, that is also a way of being in a repetitive mindset and being very... <clears throat> Sorry, guys, my, my throat is a little bit effed up. Um, but this is definitely being quite obsessive and overthinking things, being too controlling within yourself and even being very harsh on yourself, maybe, right? Like because you're, you can be sometimes a control freak within um, the perfectionism that you are um, yearning for, that you can just go through it over and over again. I see someone that is just writing something down and it's just like, no, that's not right writing it down again and it's like no it's still not right so there is some type of perfectionism as well uh, but on the other hand i do feel like you are um, putting too much pressure on yourself all right there is so much pressure that you are putting on yourself that's what i'm intuitively actually feeling let's see how that is going to pan out we got the queen of pentacles the queen of uh, the king of swords so this is definitely talking about you and someone else and you might be a little bit on different timelines i'm hearing you might be definitely a little bit um, you know having different interests at this time is what i'm picking up on whereas you really want to maybe focus a lot on your work you might be very driven and the person that you're dealing with may be very how do i say that judgmental towards you judgmental towards all the things that you want to accomplish and conquer like you know you you're very ambitious but this person may look at you like you're too ambitious you know what i mean like that's that's the type of energy that i'm getting through and because of that they may be judging you as in like you, you're materialistic or you want too much or you you are high maintenance so there's a lot of things that this person is Revaluing as well when it comes to this relationship man i'm getting a lot of messages through uh, eight of swords and the seven of cups and the knight of cups so you're you're sitting there being a little bit i'm hearing flabbergasted flabbergasted by how this person is judging you for the things that you really want to manifest and the more that you are being driven and ambitious the more this person it could be the other way around but they're looking at you as if you are a shallow person and that is not the case okay that is absolutely not the case i think what this person wants is for you from you to be a little bit more romantic all right like maybe you've been way too much into your work and your business everything is going well and the more it goes well the more that you you know emphasize on it and you're like no i need to you know concentrate on this like you're taking me off my concentration uh, i need to focus and this man is starting or this masculine energy it could be a, also a feminine energy but it's it's starting to stand their ground and be like yo we need some more romance and are you going to see it yourself or do i need to speak up about it and i feel like they're not really walking wanting to speak up about it they're like 
Aries needs to see themselves that they need to improve their love life, um, bring more fantasy into this situation or into this game is what I'm hearing, okay? And you, on the other hand, you have a lot of things going on in your mind, but you're not speaking up about it. You're keeping yourself stuck here, okay? Let's see, this is getting very interesting, man. Four of Wands... So this is all about getting into a relationship, perhaps like wanting to buy an apartment or wanting to purchase something that is going to bring you both actually more together, but it could be causing a lot of conflict. I feel like your focus is really on getting a new apartment or, or moving or, you know, doing whatever you can to bring in the passion, bring in the fire. But it feels like every time you do something, it just backlash, right? But spirit is saying like, spirit is definitely protecting you, protecting your home, protecting your relationship, and things are going to be definitely getting back in harmony here, okay? You've got Chiron coming through, healing. Let's see, care and compassion, Kuan Yin. Choose to be loved, do what is right for everyone involved, offer a helping hand. And what I do see here is that you're a little bit with your back towards them, okay? Like you're you're like, okay, if you're going to be that judgmental, if you're going to be cold and detached and aloof uh, and I need to read between the lines, I'm going the other way around. I'm going the opposite way. But I'm not sure if that opposite way is truly doing you that well, all right? Because you're, you're surrounded with a lot of illusions, stuck energy, overthinking, you know, that mental repetition. So something is still out of balance, even though you are trying to turn your back towards this individual. So perhaps a little bit of compassion, maybe without this person truly telling you what they really need from you, understanding what they really need from you and really doing a little bit more your best to compromise here. Learn from spiritual experiences, the great teacher. So this is a repetitive lesson that has been on your path that you may need to really look closer to. Uh, a lot of things are going to be starting to make sense to you and you may need to really learn from your past experiences and make a shift, right? Like if you've always handled it in this way and it never truly got you where you want it to be, then maybe it's time for you to make some type of change and see the lesson, all right? I feel like there is a need of letting go of the need to be right. That's really what, what I'm hearing spirits say. We've got the present, gift, treasure, revelation of own value and nowness. You are being encouraged to expand your thinking the angel of the universe. We've got a firm foundation. I feel like that's what you're trying to work on. Like you want to be the provider. You want to take care of a lot of things in your life. You have a lot of, like I said, you have a lot of dreams. You have a lot of ambition. You have a lot of, you know, passion, but sometimes that passion could also burn us into a burnout. And I feel like someone is trying to make you aware of like, okay, take it easy. But the way that they may have made it aware was, rather very judgmental right and that that is something that isn't really bothering you so maybe you need to clear up your mind and then you know speak up about that in order for both of you to come into the same alignment here you have sensitivity look wow you got again home so your home life is most definitely going to change and it says your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So we have twice, no, three times we have like firm foundation, stability, home life. So something within your home life is most definitely about to change. I already stated like you may want it to move or there is some type of move that is coming in and within the next 30 days that is going to make you change your focus and wanting to work more, you know, getting more hours so you can actually, um, you know, plan for your, for your move, okay? You have a new romantic cycle begins. We've got fragments. 
We got study, reading, research, education, help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. We've got action. We got victim. We've got the book and the pyramid of light psychic protection. So what I do see is that regardless if you're moving or not, it does not matter within your home life, there is a significant change that needs to happen because I feel like there is a lot of negative energy around your house. So I do feel like a cleansing, really good cleansing of your house is going to be very necessary. Also, if you do move, like make sure that you cleanse it, you you use your sage, you use your uh, caracal wood, frankincense, like you do some type of ritual to really clear out all negative energy because this, this card of the pyramid of light is most definitely telling you that negative energies have been interfering within your spiritual path and it's now time for that energy to be, you know, released and disappear. Okay, and the devil is most definitely talking about, you know, outside influences, negative energies, um, you know, energies that are not for your highest good. And because we have a lot of home related energies here, you may really want to focus on the cleansing within your home life. Uh, there has been something that has happened. There could have been an argument. You could have gotten really mad. You may have said things that were quite harmful and they are still, you know, lingering around the house that really need some deep detoxification and cleansing. Okay. And spirit is just wanting to be, let you know, um, that there has been a lot of interference within your stability, within your home life, within the peace within your house. So knowing this will bring you one step closer to what you need to do to release that. Okay. This is a very spiritual enlightenment that is most definitely coming towards you. Um, and if you take care of it in the right way, you will definitely make sure that you and whomever you're living with or you are connected to can go towards smoothing, smooth waters. Okay. Um, I feel like with this victim card, that might be you. All right. Maybe you feel like seriously getting the victim with all the circumstances that are going on with the negative energy, the interference. So you may be really thinking like, what the heck is going on? Like, why are like, maybe you're in this cycle of like feeling like there is bad luck. Like every time you want to do something or, you know, take some type of action, it just like, the raccoon just comes through, right? Like the raccoon comes through and it's like, oh, uh, there we go. Like that boat sailed again. Uh, so there is some type of bad luck that I feel that needs to be lifted off. That's really what I'm picking up on for you. And spirit is really saying like, you do have the gift to take care of it. You just need to take some type of action, Aries. Okay, like be in the present moment and really focus on what you can do in the present moment to to kind of like release uh, this energy and un unveil your gifts, unpack your own gifts. You have a lot of talents. You have a strong character, strong willpower. You know, your speech will be very, very relevant in driving off whatever is um, causing for interference in your life. All right. Whether that is a person, whether that is an energy, uh, whatever it is. Okay. And I do feel like whatever, happened between you and this individual, it is just a fragment, meaning that for the longest haul of this relationship, things may have been quite good, quite positive. So there was just one small little fragment in this situation that really made something, you know, exaggerated drama. And that is something that may need to be, you know, cleansed away as well, because over the long period of time, you may have had a very good relationship with this individual, right? So just think it, think it in that way. That is just a fragment that was just a scene in, in the relationship and not like the whole relationship was bad. And that could make you change a little bit in your um, point of view. Okay. And once you have done that, there is a new romantic cycle that is about to begin between both of you, because I do feel like this person has a lot of love for you. There's just a lot of healing that needs to happen. And the healing does need to happen within your own crown, your, your head space. Okay. Because if we overthink things and if we fixate on things for 
too long and too much, you know, fit on just one little thing, we turn into some type of resentment within, your, within ourselves. And we are not able to let go of what someone has said or um, yeah, what someone has said about us or to us. And that might be something that you need to transfer. Okay. No, I think that's, uh, that's what is here. Um, be mindful that you are going to be very sensitive in this, um, in this upcoming 30 days. So make sure that you really take care of yourself, that you're being really, you know, compassionate towards yourself. Don't be too harsh. Um, stay away from anything that could cause you even more to overthink and feel more, um, into your headspace okay get grounded within your energy so that you can release any type of overthinking and that mental repetition that is going on okay honor yourself and honor your feelings here that's what i have for you my friends i really do hope that you enjoyed it if you did press, press that like button for me and we are going to do an extended so if you are interested you can find the extended in the description box below this video and i'll catch you guys soon ciao